It's been 100 years since Henry Ford conceived of the moving assembly line. And while the concept hasn't changed, new technology is driving production through the roof. Today, at Ford's assembly plant on Chicago's south side, robotic arms are the line's newest workers. Scattered along the assembly route are more than 500 robots giving a helping hand on everything from welding to inspection to installing windshields and bolting on fenders. They can even offer an extra set of eyes. The application of robots can center around different things. The fine detail that those robots can see through vision systems and that can help you analyze or diagnose uh, throughput or increase throughput in uh, each area of the plant. Since 2010, the Southside plant has grown by roughly 2,000 workers, and Ford has invested $400 million into the plant to produce the new Ford Explorer, a hot seller now comprising more than half the plant's total production. Here, robots work side by side with employees. The robots take on the tedious backbreaking part of the work, while humans finesse the final assembly with a manual touch. You want to be able to maximize the value that employee can add to that operation. By giving him the information from the robot, now he can focus all his efforts on doing whatever task we want him to focus on. With three crews working seven days a week, the Chicago plant churns out 1,200 vehicles a day, about one every minute. The plant, which is 3 million square feet and employs roughly 4,200 workers, makes the Explorer, the Taurus, the Lincoln MKS, and two police vehicles. And keeping the hundreds of robots in tip-top shape means training Ford's workforce to better accommodate and maintain their new colleagues. Certainly it makes uh, the need for a skilled workforce. It focuses on what the uh, employee needs to be able to do, right? So that technical proficiency becomes critical. It takes a lot to keep those robots working, right? So we've got to make sure that our people are trained properly and can implement those tasks quickly to keep the lines running. Last year, the Chicago plant added a third shift. And recently, Ford announced plans to have 90% of all facilities working on a three-shift model. The move, built on the foundation of Henry Ford's concept, is expected to increase production time by more than a third. The fundamental idea hasn't changed, but certainly the way we can implement efficiencies has changed, and much more efficient. So where does the modern assembly line go from here? I think you're going to see the application of technology roll out for even more efficiencies. We want to be first in the market. When we hear something from our customer that we want to respond, I think the level of technology will allow us to respond quicker to the plant and then back into the plant, into the assembly process. I mean, a moving assembly line mechanically is, is still the same, but you can certainly make it run more efficiently. Mm -hmm.